Hi passengers, I'm Colonel Failure and, uh, and we're heading towards uh, what I'm hoping is the right junction to pick up a job. Now, uh, last time around I rolled my train. Yeah, quite a lot actually, as it turns out. And uh, the game reset me because there'd been some sort of update or some such thing. And, uh, okay, so, uh, so it's almost like that didn't happen. Uh, the upshot was that I was entirely lost without a map. I've since recovered maps. And, uh, and I've picked up a suitable job, which should get me going right back in business. Anyway, we're uh, we're going to go grab these five here. No, no, these five, yeah, and uh, and hoik them up the mountain to uh, to some other place somewhere, probably. Anyway, uh, join me, won't you? The other side of the bombastic intro, where. Right, we're looking for E30, and I'm fairly certain uh, that I've already got this set up correctly because I walked the track before, and it, it certainly looks old on. No, we're we're going up the wrong one here, Gov. Are we? Yes. Oh, okay. Well, you were only one off. I mean, I suppose that's that's something, right? Crank that off. Crank this on. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. You've got one one set of points done wrong. I mean, it happens. Uh, you know, it's, it's nothing to be ashamed of. It affects us all equally. Uh, well, it affects you possibly disproportionately uh, more than other people, but that's all That's all part of the mystique. Uh, right, okay, give me some of that. Yep. All right, bring out your, your, your switch whizzler. Switch whizzler. That one. There you go. I've whizzled it. All right, good. Brakes back on. Yeah... Right, throw it in a first. Well, forwards. I mean, it's, it amounts to the same thing. De whizzle that up the stick, and then we're rolling. Okay, I'm pretty certain I've got this set to the right one. Yeah, it's seamless. Uh, and uh, and we should uh, we should roll into E30 here uh, to pick up our our case of yum yums. Uh, or I'm I'm fairly certain we should anyway. What are we looking for? What's the what's the numbering? Uh, five six nine four eight three, and then one five seven at the other end. Everybody remember that? Yeah, because I certainly do. Uh, right, break on. Yeah, let's, let's go make sure before we go and start getting too familiar with these uh, these wagons. What I'm banking on here is that the the name of the the numbering of them will uh, will jog my memory as we get close. We're looking for five in total. This is 157. Oh, okay, we've got the rear end. Okay, fine. Uh, these two don't matter. And then there's two more here. I'm I pretty certain we've got this, you know. Uh, that's 483. That rings a bell. And uh, that's 569. Doesn't ring a bell, but I'm pretty sure we've got the right ones. Now, the configuration that I've got here is suggesting that I should push these. Yeah, I'm not falling for that again. Uh, I pushed them last time and it ended up badly. So I'm going to pull them and we'll uh, we'll figure out our way there once we leave the uh, the vicinity of the station here. Now, the, the mission brief says that this should take about 34 minutes. It's not going to take that. It's going to take a bit longer than that. No, they're, they're living at... Oh, get on the train. They're living in some kind of fantasy kingdom. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Yeah. I prefer to open the door. For some reason, the game just lets you walk through stuff, and I don't like that. Uh, now, I admit that, uh, you know, some allowances have to be made for those who are playing while limiting themselves because they're using a magic science helmet. Um, but I'm able to move in three dimensions. I have full control over my virtual body, uh, and therefore, let me have full control over it. Don't make me play in a in the limited handicapped way that is uh, uh, to play with a, a, a saucepan on your head and some kind of television built into it. Slow it down a bit, maybe. Yeah. It's all right. We gave it just a just a little list of taps there, and that's that's got us all all properly configurable. Should we? Uh, yeah, let's duck underneath. Right. Slap that on here. On here. There you go. All you have to do is let go of it and it will do the job. All right, crank the cranker. Cranked. Okay, does this need to do something? What's this? Uh, that requires a multiple unit lozenge. Oh no, I don't I don't need multiple units. No, uh, we've, we've got enough lozenges as it is. 
Okay, right, then we'll just leave the station and, and see where see where fate conducts us. Uh, okay, alright, does this show me where I am? Yeah, it does look. You're the little blue triangle thing. That's more turquoise than it is blue. I think you're splitting hairs. So we're going to come out this way. We're going to come out on the uh, west, do some kind of manoeuvrage around here. Now, this is the, the longer way to go, uh, and we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to back it up. Oh, yeah. Or we could just go the easy route and just punch it straight up there. We could. It's shorter. You know what? Shorter is better. Always. Okay. All right. How about taking the brake off? Yeah. How about taking the train brake off? Yeah. Is that train? That looks like train brake on to me. All right. Train brake off. Talk to me. Why are you flashing? Uh, the brake pipe is doing things. Okay. Is it doing the things we want it to be doing? Very hard to say for sure. Do we know if the brakes are on or off? I would have said that that was brakes on or off. Yeah. yeah. It could be either. You never know for sure. Well, I've gotten... Yeah. Well, look. We've got, we've got some revs on. All right. So if I now do that... That's showing that there's less in the brake pipe now. And it's... Well, what what level of impact has that had on our forward momentum? It has slowed us down a bit. Alright, so if you now take this back off... Yeah, the light's flashing. Is that a warning flash? You could look in the manual. Yeah, but I, I, I feel like I should be able to intuit what's going on based on what's actually happening in the world. And I tell you, it doesn't seem to make much of a difference one way or the other. It, it really doesn't, does it? The brake pipe has now got lots in it. Yes. Does that mean that we're braking or does that mean that we're not braking? That we're preparing for later? Yeah. It's the thing with train games, though, you know. It assumes you know. It assumes you just know uh, that uh, that one thing or the other is, is viable. There you go. See, look, it's still flashing, and now there's less in the brake pipe. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't. I think there's there's no no choice in the matter. I think we're going to have to go for uh, the train basics. Yeah, that's about where I live. Uh, Shunter quick guide. Yeah. All I want to know is which way is brakes on and which way is brakes off. Yeah, ignition, reverse, uh, release the brakes. Backward, apparently, is brakes released. Ten, four. Right, okay, I'm there. So that means we want brake pipe full, which is what my instincts were telling me earlier on. Brake pipes full means brakes are released. All right, off we go then. Come on, I'm utterly beansing this bad boy. We should be rolling. Unless there is some form of brake on the uh, on the wagons themselves. All right, leave that there. Let's go and have a flipping look. I, I I have a vague recollection at some point of having to release a handbrake on the uh, uh, on the wagons, but I'll be honest with you, that could have been any number of different games. Yeah, not necessarily this one. No. No. All right. Well, we're at the back now. What we got? Oh, you've got to do the flipping, the, the brake hose lever. Ah, yes, that's the thing that's important. Yeah, that's why it wasn't making any difference. Are you sure? Look, it's the most compelling argument I've got one way or the other at the moment. All right, okay, get down here. Yeah, go in there. And uh, you haven't left the train in motion, have you? Pretty sure I turned it off. There you go, you've got to grab that and do that. Oh, yeah, it's the simple things that are simple. All right, let's see uh, see how we get on now. All right, that is apparently brakes on. Is it? I'm pretty sure that's brakes off. You want more in the? Yeah. See, look, we've got uh, we've got stuff in there. Why is that flashing? Historically, that would be some kind of a warning about something being misconfigured. All right. Well, look, let's go and make sure that we've got all of the brake pipes doing the same manoeuvrage here that's down which is where we just moved that first one to that's down 
Now, I think that indicates that this brake hose is now able to communicate with all these dudes. Right. So we want to make sure that this one is up. It is. Oh. Alright. Well, why is the flipping thing flashing then? I don't, I don't know. I, I, I Just don't ask me. I only work here. Um, right. Yeah, down. See? I think that's the communication open. Hold on. You've got to check on the wagon itself as well. That. Down. Like that. Oh. Very good. Yeah. Yeah, you've got to do both sides, otherwise you get nothing happening. That has ceased to ceased to be flashing now, and it also I left that with the brakes off theoretically, so uh, we should be able to just be able to get on with it. Oh, it does seem to be more inclined toward getting on with it now. Right, well, it took a little while, but we got there. Yeah, I know I'm wheel spinning a bit, but I just wanted to see if that had an impact. Go on, go on, come on, you can do it. That's it keep nudging it forwards until we've got a, a rate of progress that feels progressive that's got it that's got it yeah that's got it all right we're rolling all right, i want to i want to stand atop my plinth you could probably go too fast okay. look you always end up in trouble because you go too fast so stop it for a bit would you I mean, also, you're going to be uh, you're going to be grinding this quite heavily on your way up the mountain, assuming we haven't just banked it into a bit that's got some points on the end of it. I've no way of knowing. I'm just going to believe in it being configured not to make my life miserable. All right. Why do you think that's a thing? Uh, just you know, because once in a while I've got to get lucky. Yeah. Well, oh, look. Well, there's the front of the train. Look. Oh yeah. I really would rather have the loco at the front, you know? Yeah, you can't have it all. Well, you could if you'd have whizzed it up the other side and then backed onto it. Yeah, I know, but, you know, who's really counting? Well, you should be, because as it stands, you've got no way of knowing whether there is an aggressive speed limit adjustment coming up or not. It's true. No, I think what we're going to aim to do is just do 40 all the way. Okay, yeah, 40 feels realistic. That feels plausible. All right, tally-ho then. All right, so far so good. Uh, in a tunnel. Yeah, that uh, guy swimmingly. Um, uh, as we glance down at the map here, you'll see that... Uh, hold on, as we glance down at the map so you can see it, uh, we are meandering our way here up towards goods factory in town. Uh, so we've got one switch to take there, which I, I should be ready for, given that we've got quite a lengthy haul to get to that point. The only thing that concerns me, though... Uh, is uh, how does one actually get to Goods Factory in town, given that that's a bridge over the top of it? I'm very much hoping it's not going to make me go all the way around the flaming houses here. Oh, crikey, because you've got to go... No, you've got to go under that, and then around the top, and then around that, and then down the bottom, and then over here, and then into there. Oh, what a pain in the bum of a route. Well, I suspect we'll find out. Uh, but this is... Uh, that how they could quote this as being a 30-minute job... It's beyond me, because that's not 30 minutes. That's a lot more than 30 minutes. That's that's a lot more. A lot. A lot more. Well, I've opted to ride rooftop here to uh, to soak in some of the scenery. And, uh, and largely because we are uh, we are designing this, uh, this run to be done at a leisurely pace uh, to avoid any potential disasters. Now, obviously, disasters... I never seek them out, you know. They, they just... They just have a habit of finding me. Um, you know, we're we're rated for 60 at this next bit, and uh, and we're doing 40-ish, which is good. The only thing I've got to watch out for is whether I'm overstressing the loco. Uh, but uh, you know, that's a that's a secondary consideration at this point. Uh, so I'm quite I'm quite happy sat up here with my deck chair and a glass of pims, and uh, just just taking in what is rather a nice day. Yeah, we're running along here at a brisk 45, and uh, and the temperature gauge is. Are we still? Yeah, it's in motion. It's getting a little bit on the uh, on the tasty side. Uh, I'm going to bang the fan on and see if that does anything. No, not really. No, the temperature temperature's starting to get a little bit worried. All right, we'll ease it back a bit. I mean, I don't really want to go any slower, but equally, I don't want to melt down my train. I mean, how, how you're supposed to get from A to B using the little shunter, 
uh, to, to propel things without it getting slightly over warm is uh, is beyond me. Come on, you can you can drop off a bit more than that. Go on, go on. We've also caned quite a bit of fuel as well, so I'm going to have to figure out how to refuel at some point. Uh, but I'm sure that will be fine. Uh, are you are you dropping off at all? It looks like it might be, but only ever so slightly. All right, I'll take it back a, a notch further. There you go. I don't want to do too much, but if I can get into a, a general sense of cooling, that would be beneficial. I don't want to. I don't want to lose the pace, though. Meanwhile, map time. Oh, we're actually coming up on uh, on a potential turnaround moment. Well, I say turnaround moment. We're, we're coming up on a junction. Yeah. I am still slightly concerned that we're going to have to go around the chuffing houses to get to this uh, to get to this station, uh, but that's okay. No, no, we'll we'll cope with that. That'll be that'll be something that we that we handle. It is easing off a little. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've 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 dropped off ever so slightly now. Okay, all right, that's acceptable. Right, the turning's coming up, but I've no way of knowing if it's uh, if it's correctly oriented. We're going to we're going to have to be lucky here, I think. Alternatively, if I slow it down, then even if we're unlucky, uh, we uh, we won't overshoot by too much. There you go. I'll give the I'll give the engine a bit of time off. Go on, be lucky. Be lucky. We're lucky. Okay, it's good. Also means that we're going a little bit slower through the junction, so the uh, the odds of peril are, uh, are slightly reduced. Yeah, that's that's all good. Don't worry about being able to see into another dimension. There, that's not uh, that's not an issue. Uh, that's that's all that's all as it's supposed to be. All right, solid. Right, let's look up my next uh, my next moment of excitement, uh, which is going to be. Yeah, we're going to have to go around the houses, aren't we? Oh, what a drag! Okay, well, it is what it is. There's no sense getting upset about it. Uh, you, you know, that's just a that's just a thing. Anyway, throttle back on a little. And, uh, and off we trundle. Yeah, nice. I mean, it's a lovely day for it. But it really is. The views, the views, very charming indeed. Uh, but uh, no, it's, it's a long old way to go to make six grand. Um, and I've got to build up a little bit so that I can I can get myself a nice pacey train. But I'll tell you something for nothing. I've, I've had it with this riding at the back business. No, that's no good. Uh, all future services I will run from the front, providing they're not shunting, of course. Uh, shunting will we'll ride wherever we ride. Uh, but uh, no, we'll, we'll endeavour to always be at the head of the operation, because uh, that will buy us the ability to make good decisions at appropriate times, theoretically. All right, hoving into view now. You can see the chimney of the goods factory there. And obviously with this viaduct, then, yeah, yeah, it's a, we are going to have to go around and down and through and under and over and all of that business. So, uh, so that's, that's okay. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, but, uh, you should be able to see the rail line running along the, uh, running along the bank there. We're going to come in from that way and head under the arches and, uh, and get where we're going. Now, if I hop up here, if I hop up here, we're going a bit quick for this, you know. Oh, yeah, okay. All right, ease it off a bit. Yeah, because we've got a bit of downhill probably coming up. Yeah, all right, valid. Right, so we're going over there somewhere. Uh, actually, there are two short tracks. I think we're going onto that one that is green, yellow, red. I think that's our target. Okay. Yeah, I think it might well be. That says as 30, and that one says 6i. 5i is where we're going, so yeah, it is. It's that one. Okay, all right, good. Well, that was... That was a worthwhile bit of scouting there. Yeah. Okay, so as we come in, we want to bear right. Unless it's one of those that doesn't allow you to bear anything at all. Uh, in which case, we'll go through and round and dump them and come back again. Yeah, it's all good. Now, that's, that's going to work out swimmingly. Uh, meanwhile, however, we have the perilous downhill segment uh, to cope with. Um, and uh, and when we've got a, we have got a junction coming up shortly, sh shortishly. Uh, where on uh, where we will try and turn left rather than right. Yeah, we want to go left, 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 left as much as possible. All right, jump down. I'll show you. I'll show you on the map. I've kind of thought this through a little bit. Hold on, we're slowing up. Bit more beans. 
we've obviously got an uphill here. Honestly, this thing's gutless. Come on. Let's go. Don't you wheel spin on me. No, we're going backwards now. Go a bit more, bit more, bit more, bit more, bit more. Go on, that's yeah, that's that's it now. Just to ease it the other way. There you go. And then give it a dab more. No, actually, give it a dab. Go on. Yeah, I know, no wheel slippage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, just tickle it up. Tickle it until we start getting getting some velocity going. Come on, give us some momentum. Put it about there. Give it just a give it a quick dab of sand. There you go. That should be enough. Still got the wheel slippage, but that's okay. It's going to bite in a moment. I would have thought I didn't think this was uphill. See, which is why I'd left it coasting. There you go. First couple of wagons are on the crest now, so we should be all right. I don't know how much we're actually wheels going to do. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, we yeah, yeah, there's a bit there. Oh, no, no, on. There you go. Yeah, I know. It's, it's just pure, I haven't done anything chancy in a little while. And I felt like, you know, maybe I was losing my touch. Whoop, ah, whoop, aim, jumped. I'm oh, big dragged. Dragged. There it is. All right. No, let's calm down. Oi, door, stay open. Thank you. I don't like walking through sheet metal. And therefore, if you wouldn't mind staying open, that would be grand. Same goes for you, pal. Thank you. All right, I feel good about this last leg. I don't. Well, I mean, it's not massively challenging, uh, but then I can make anything somewhat challenging just by being me. Um, so we'll we'll see how we get on. I've got the engine temperature back under control. Oh, that's that's heartening. In fact, I might even turn the fan off. Yeah, I don't think we're going to need it at the moment. We have absolutely caned the fuel on this run uh, and that means I've got to learn how to actually refuel the thing I'm sure it's not that difficult how sure uh, well look, I, I'll put, let's put it this way if I was making this I wouldn't have made it difficult no, I'd have made it fun and engaging yeah would you yeah I wouldn't just make it uh, click the button anywhere and have some more fuel but it costs you a couple of simu bucks no, 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 I'd have made it that you've got to pull up to a particular place, but I'd have every station having one of those places so that you were never far from a bit of a reduce should the need arise. Right, anyway, what I was, what I was going to show you is where we're going next. So uh, as we come up to here, we need to go left, left. Well, the first, we only need to ping the first one to left because that's a, a, a Y junction, so that should be fine. We've then got to go this way, under here, helix our way down, and then take another left... And then we go down here by the oil well where we take another where we take a right and then we take a left and then we're there yeah it's only another three quarters of an hour to go honestly it rated this at 30 minute run and it's not it just isn't that's just lies um no it, it, it's a total fabrication uh this is this is not a uh, this is not a 30 minute run in the slightest hogwash frankly in which case, there better not be a timeliness benefit. No, 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 no. I was going to say benefit, but I, I was combining the words bonus and penalty there and ended up with a completely different word, which has a different meaning. Uh-oh. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah, we, we better stop before this goes any worse than it just did. Hang on. Now, why am I now going this way? Something's gone very severely wrong here. Uh, I'll try and walk you through what just happened. Um, I think I may have just had a miraculous escape. Alright, ease the brake on. Ease it, ease it on. And then we're going to go and need to review the situation. Uh, yeah, because that, that, that had the potential to be complete catastrophe. Right, so what happened here was, uh, yeah, no, I'm not entirely sure how I managed to avoid that completely ruining everything. This is another one of the perils of being at the back of the train, you know. 
No, I got away with it. I don't know how. Um, I better check. I'll check the couplings on the way back because I have a feeling I may have broken the coupling. So what happened here was uh, we were approaching this and I noticed it was set incorrectly. So uh, so I pulled out my lozenge. No, 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 that's not it. That's that, right? And uh, and I switched it, but I hadn't noticed that the first wagons had already gone through. Yeah. <laughs> and for some reason and I'm not entirely sure what happened there it did look like the first couple of wagons were merrily going up that way and then the third one I think was going up this way which I thought oh worst case scenario we broke the coupling and we're, we're just going to have to put them back together but no for some reason the physics decided just to sling me back down this way and go do you want another go at that um, which I, th I thought was rather generous of it uh, I wouldn't have done that. I'd had a whole thing flip off and explode. Um, but uh, no. So it looks like we got away with that. Looks like it. Yeah, I mean everything's still on the rails. So uh, so that's that's something. Yeah, we can we can take that away as a positive. Uh, but uh, we just better make sure that everything's still connected. That one's fine. That one's fine. Yeah. And this one's fine too. Well, I can't see it being just the last one. Nope. Okay. All right. Got away with Moida there. Good. All right. I probably damaged a few things, but uh, but nothing seems to be complaining too greatly. Right. Okay. So uh, let's uh, let's crank that up to a fair bit. Let's ease the train brake off and the loco the loco brake and the train brake. See if that will get us going. We're just releasing releasing brake pressure now and you can tell you're releasing brake pressure because your brake pressure starts going up yeah yeah I know it's counterintuitive that's why it's confusing all right okay we made it through there go on give it the sand I can't I can't be bothered waiting there you go yeah now part of me says why don't you ride on the front for the rest of the journey maybe even take the map with uh, and just ride on the front and make sure that everything stays uh, totally under control. And it's because, uh, frankly, that's what I was doing when everything got out of control last time. I needed to slow the train down, uh, but I was uh, riding on a wagon out front and therefore was, was unable to, to take care of business in a timely fashion. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've, obviously, I, I showed you the replay there of, of exactly what happened, and I've, I've no idea if it was as apparent to you what was going on as it was to me. But uh, I, I, I don't know how I got away with it, but mercifully, I did. So, hooray. Right then, okay, what's next on this voyage of discovery that takes 30 minutes? Um, okay, so next up, we've got nothing for ages. Uh, we've got to go and do the helix. And, uh, and then down to North Oil Well. Or Oil Well North, depending on which way you, you like to view these things. In fact, no, this look, we, it looks like we go under and then over the top and then we're going downhill again. Oh, for crying out loud. Yeah, I know, but I mean, you didn't build the track, so, you know, it's designed to, to keep you interested and engaged. We're, we're doing quite fast here, you know. We're we going 45. All right, just roll it for a bit. We've obviously got a downhill section. All right, and then just just keep your eyes open for the next time we're we're doing anything other than downhill. Actually, we should probably also have a look at what's the fuel situation. Not great. No. Have we done? How much further have we got to go? We've done. We came up this way. Yeah. We've gone up here. We're going around there. Yeah. Now, given that this is uphill. We've probably got a little bit more fuel burn to do there. Uh, but then this is going to be downhill, because we know that that's lower than we were before anyway. So we may be able to roll it for quite a bit. In fact, we're already building up a good tilt here. This is great. Um, yeah, it's not great. Okay, I'm going to use the loco brake to slow us up a bit. In the thinking of, we're the heavy bit, in theory. Yeah, you, want to, you might want to do a bit more of that and then maybe give it just a little bit of train brake. Alright, okay. Is this having an effect? Yeah, that's doing it, that's doing it. 
you don't want to jam the train brake on because doing so is uh, is going to apply the brakes there and you've got more weight and therefore you flip the whole thing off the track. Alright, there you go. Ease it off again. That's good. Oh, I see. Look at that. That was actually a bit of semi-skillful uh, operation of the service there. And we're not using any fuel, which is a good thing. Yeah. Yeah, and I could have said, yeah, it's a 30-minute journey and you're going to run out of fuel in the process. Yeah, we're picking up speed again, aren't we? certainly appears that way. Oh, I remember it was a tunnel. Uh, consult the legend. That was a tunnel. It wasn't a bridge. Oh, okay. Does that help you at all? No, we're st we've still got to go uphill. You sure? What's this bit down here? Interesting. I don't know. What's that bit down there? That's where we're going next. Oh, well, this is all downhill. Oh, fine. Okay. All right. All right. Smash it. How's that possible? Well, I imagine we're going to find out. We are going quite quickly again. Oh, no. Well, you were right. We were going quite quickly. Ah, interesting. The wagons are still on. But the train has come off. I'm not even entirely sure how these things happen. Ah, your first derailment. No, it's not. No, I've, I've ridden this particular cowboy before. Um, no worries. If you can't afford re-railing and finishing the job, consider discarding it to the trash bin so you can take another. All right. Okay, we will do. Um, what I was actually going to do here was I was going to stick that on and then uh, I was going to disconnect me from the everything. Oh, hold on. We'll put that back on as well. There you go. Oh, wait, wait. There you go. Uh, unhook this bad boy. There you go. You've got your brakes on. You should be you should be stationary. There you go. Right. Now then. How did I derail there? That wasn't a particularly slow bit. Um all right, well I can get me re-railing tool out and and just have a look and and see how it how how we feel about life. Uh, crew vehicle, clear it. No. Rerail a vehicle. Go on, him. Yeah, that one. Yeah. Yeah. S stick that back on there, would you? For nothing. Done. Yeah. Woohoo! Everything is back under control. I'm not entirely sure why that was free. I'm going to assume it's because I've got insurance and stuff. Okay. All right. No. No, see, there you go. You thought this was the end of the show, but it's not. No, no, it's not the end of the show. Right, stick that back on there. That was exactly where I wanted it. That's it. And grab, no, grab that as well. Thank you. All right, stick that back on there. That's where I wanted that. How's the fuel? It doesn't really matter. The train's broken. Uh, and then slap that back up on there. Oh, I love that you can put the manuals wherever you like. That's my favourite thing. Now, I reckon the train's probably off. All right, let's uh, fire it back up. Come on. No, you're not interested. Uh, you're in neutral, right? Yeah. Okay, good. What else we got going on here? Power fuse. I've done power fuse. That's all done. Yeah. I mean, how broken are you? Don't answer that. Not all at once. Let's put the brake on for the moment. Uh, yeah. Throttles off. Yes. Okay, you should fire up. No? All right, what if we flick these down? I, I thought I had it the right way. Yeah, it's not even, that's not doing anything now. Train's broken, Dave. It can't be broken. Look, we'd have a, we'd have a light on saying your train's broken, Gov. Service engine. Do you think that's what that means? Yeah, almost certainly. Right, turn the lights off. Go on, and again. Go on, it will go. Okay, well, this this calls for more serious measures then. Uh, right, we'll, we've got the brake off. We've got the train brake off. We are rolling ever so slowly. What we're going to try and do here is bump start it. Uh, yeah. And the way that we'll do that is we will connect the train up, the the, uh, the wagons, up to the loco, 
and then we'll see if the act of just uh, getting some momentum, I'll throw it into gear and, uh, and see if that gets the engine to fire over. If it does, I will be, I'll be incredibly impressed because uh, uh, that would work in the world. But, uh, you know, you've, you've got to wait and see whether it's going to work in, uh, in your video game or not. Is that wheel actually rotating? Oh, it is actually rotating. That's cute. Um, good. If I give us a bit of a push. Go on. Come on. You can do it. Go on. Keep rolling. Yeah, see, look. look I'm pushing it so, so hard. It's, it's making it vibrate. Come on, keep going, keep going. Are you still rolling? No. Ah, bum. I was I was thinking there was enough downhill there to make that work. All right, okay, well, look, let's uh, put the lights on so I can see what's up. Uh, lights on. I mean, the battery still works. Come on, train, you can do this. All right, the fuses are off again. All right, go on. Go on. Turn over, Dagnamit. You do, I mean, do you need me to go and get me toolbox and see if we can't get it rolling? What if I try turning it over while we've got the reverser in? Go on. Go on. You can do it. This should be this should be man serviceable. Go on. That's 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 clearly broken. That's no, that's had it. Oh, why? Why did you do? I had everything pretty much under control. Right, fine. If that's how you want to play it, uh, I'll take the bit of the train that is working. There you go. If we turn that off, I don't know if it's going to release or not. Feels pretty stationary to me. Okay. Well, there is a plan B. What's the plan B? We nip down there, go and hijack whatever loco's up there, attach all of this business, and then we we do a rescue mission. We do like a rescue mission. All right, okay, well, let's go get it then. Ah, yeah, right, okay. I'm mean, a Colonel Failure, everybody. Uh, in the next episode, a rescue mission. I'm not going to keep you waiting that long either. Um, no, I'll uh, I'll have that done before you know it. Yeah, that's that's going to be a thing that works. No, never say die. You might say, oh, no, but uh, but never say die. That would be a bad thing. Uh, anyway, you're going to want to stay tuned for that because uh, it's not going to go right. It never does. Um, yeah, this game was made for me. It was it was made with me in mind. It's just uh, it gives you just enough freedom that you can hoist yourself by your own petard regularly. And uh, and it's. Is just confusing enough that uh, that you never get truly proficient. Yeah, that's my story. I'm sticking with it. Thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you next time. Cheerio. So what we got here is two conflicting schools of thought. The first school of thought says uh, you actually did nothing wrong there, and uh, and therefore justice has not been served. The second school of thought, however, is you were driving in in such a fashion that even though you hadn't necessarily done anything wrong there, you had overall earned your train to derail. Um, so uh, so we're, not, we're not downhearted necessarily, because I feel that justice has been served, uh, but it, it just feels a little bit uh, I don't know, churlish that it happened in that particular moment. Um, but that's okay. We'll, we'll recover from this. We'll, we'll go and get a train, and we'll go and make this work, and we'll earn the money. And everything will be good and right with the world once again.